been bedding for about nine years now. We were spinning a lot on sawdust. So we were always having to pump slurry to the lagoon. So we chose to go down separate route. We looked about, spoke to a few farmers and someone pointed us in the direction of a set one separator. We went to see one and like the idea of the, the air pressure on the separator what knocks the, the pressure off so it doesn't put too much pressure on the screens all the time. It'll not wear out as much as the last separator did. We like the green bedding, it's, it's really soft on the cows. It's good for hocks on the cows' legs because you don't, you don't get as much, much hock damage. The cows are a lot cleaner, they're very clean the cows. We bed half the cubicles every day generally. We're separating for about 10 hours a day. So we'll bed half the cubicles one day, half the cubicles the next day. Sometimes if we're busy one day, if we miss a day, we'll bed everything the next day. The output on this separator is probably about twice as much as the other separator. Because we're all underground tanks, the separator works well because all the liquid from the separator gets pumped with electric pump to the lagoon. We have, we have two lagoons and they've both got covers on the top of them. So the separated slurry works well because we can't, we can't get in to whisk them. There's not much hassle of getting it to the lagoon compared to when we were pumping it to the lagoon with an umbilical or with a tanker. Saving a bit on fertiliser this year with dual barring separated slurry on. Maybe about 20% less we've cut back on fertiliser this year. Not noticed any difference. We'll see if we can do that again next year.